Welcome back to our mage draft that's currently going on. Trying to cheat out secrets. Oh, that could not sound worse. If you think of that in like a relationship context, that's... Oof. <laughs> but yeah, trying to cheat out secrets. Oh, it's going to be good. We've only managed to get it to hit once. Um, but it was a glorious once. Itchy, the paladin. Excellent, so that makes a total of six paladins that I've versed. Five paladins, sorry. There we go. Uh, this is so fucking strong that I, like... Like, fuck it. I think I'm gonna get a two. If I don't get a two, I'll get a three. Oh, man. I hate to have Mirror Entity in my opening hand, because it means, like, there's a far lower- I'm an idiot. Should have coined the Sorcerer's Drink Apprentice. Because then I would be able to play Mirror Entity naturally. Alright, I'm gonna fuck my own curve, how about that? This is basically just so that the response to the Ogre Brute cannot be Truce of a Champion. At least on the turn that it's played. Oh, that's a risky game to play. That is a risky game to play. I have a 25% chance of killing that. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. It's possible in this situation that my opponent thinks that I have a duplicate. They definitely don't think I have a duplicate anymore, I'll tell you that much. Oh well. They now know exactly what the secret is, right? It wasn't Vaporize, it wasn't Ice Barrier, it wasn't Duplicate, it's therefore Mirror Entity. I mean, it could have been Counterspell or Ice Block or any number of other ones, but they're just not popular enough to be counted upon. So it's likely my opponent plays something that is not particularly uh, strong at all as a response. And that's going to be frozen for a turn. Do I even want to play it? So it's frozen this turn, which means that I get to hold on to Frostbolt for one more turn, just in case I have a better solution to it. Right? Maybe I draw Blizzard this turn, my opponent populates their board wildly, um, and then I Blizzard and then ping it the turn after. Maybe. It's just this buys me time to decide what I want to do later. That's a really good card to give me. I mean... Yeah, you're gonna have to kill it with that. Reporting for duty. Iron B Gal. <sighs> I mean I Iron B Gal that and then I Defender of Argus and I attack this. Then there's a chance I get consecrated, I guess. Hmm. I frostbolt with this. Oh, okay, that's that's correct. I frostbolt this. If that's avenge, it triggers. Excellent, it's avenge. Either hits this or this. That's. Uh, I mean, that's okay. For it to hit that. Okay, now I Defender of Argus, and then I hit this. Which means that this has a chance of missing and hitting the face, or the Defender of Argus allowing my Strongthorn Tiger to survive. For the king. Oh, apparently not. Ooh, one shot, one kill, motherfucker. This is fine purely for the reason that my opponent doesn't actually have, you know, anything out. Or doesn't have, uh, 
many cards in hand to summon more. Reporting for duty. Okay. This is fine. Silence you, ping you, attack you, summon Shilvin Yeti. Maybe that should have been the water elemental. Let's think about it. Yeah, that definitely should have been the water elemental. Follow the rules. Follow the rules. Damn, now I wish I had Blizzard. Reporting for duty. Dealing with these is going to be difficult. I mean, I want to use my ping this turn. That's the problem. Because if I ping, I can only play the Archmage. So... If I want to remove the most damage, that goes there. Okay. <sighs> At least next turn I get to play Water Elemental Waste, Snapjaw, and I get to use my ping. All my opponent needs at this point is a weapon, or a hammer of wrath, or anything like that, or even just one big minion, and I'm fucked. Okay. I'm not... I don't particularly mind if you roll need, actually. Go for it, loot hoarder. So my opponent gets the top deck two cards. That's actually pretty powerful. I don't... Don't have strong control of this game right now. My opponent's getting card draw. I'm not. In fact, I only have two card draw left in my deck. That's atrocious. I probably lose just straight off the back of that one. So the problem with uh, Piloted Sky Golem is it's fucking difficult to kill initially uh, at 4 health. And then it's even worse afterwards. Because it comes back with, on average, 4-4 four, four of stats. So it's kind of like a 10-8. Hey, my opponent doesn't have spells. Hell yeah. That's going to be frozen for another turn, so I don't have to worry about it for a while. I cannot run this into fatigue off of top decking every turn. And this isn't even going to summon me a fucking secret. It's trash. Yeah, go for it. Have your freebie, you fucker. I think I may have played that, um... I think it's actually certain that I played the uh, Blizzard way too early. Two one goes into my three two. My opponent's hero power is better than mine because I have to use my hero power to keep up, basically. Even though my hero power has more versatility, mine has to be used almost every single turn to keep up with my opponent. They're holding two cards in hand, so I have to assume that the two cards they're holding in hand are swing cards. Because there's no reason to not play them. Unless they're swing cards, right? Yeah, I'm fucked. This is 4-2. Blizzarded way too early. <laughs> I appear to have shot my wad on what was supposed to be a dry run. Oh, yay. Card draw. Oh, there's my other source of card draw. Lovely to see it. If I play the spider tank, it immediately dies to the truce of a champion. So what I'm hoping is that my opponent has to use the truce of a champion to kill the blood mage Thalnos. I draw a card and I draw a better solution. Strathall will be purged. I'll remind you that was from the top deck. Reporting for duty. Hmm. 
I'm actually just so tilted. This should have been this. I'm just a dumb man right now. And now I'm going to run into fatigue first and I'm still at a card disadvantage. This is horrid. Oh, girl, this is bad. So many of my opponent's cards are getting a two for one, right? That's the problem. So think of it like this. The Truce of a Champion kills a minion, stays around, kills another minion. That's a two for one, right? One card, Truce of a Champion, killed two minions, right? The Arjun Commander kills a card and loses a Divine Shield, then kills another card. That's two for one, right? Scarlet Purifier comes into the battlefield, kills something with Death Rattle, then kills something by itself. That's a two for one. Reporting for duty. It's almost impossible for me now to stop my opponent from winning. Those three cards are certain two for ones. I mean, we got into a bad situation by using the Blizzard wrong, but, you know, having cards that immediately offer a two for one, right? Because a weapon, that's one and a half, I guess? Um, but also it wins the game. Because a weapon can attack instantly. A charge minion can attack instantly. And a battle cry takes effect instantly. So even though a Scarlet Crusader can do a two for one, it has to wait. So it's not immediate impact. It's not an immediately strong impact at the very least. So you end up in a situation like that one, uh, where you get to S the mighty D in the sky because you get fucked. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just flicking a coin for... I, I'm apparently a Jane tiny little puppy. Playing with things. I must protect the wild. Not even interesting. I just want to push the coin. I'm not certain enough to have a two drop, so I mulligan. Hmm. I'm glad to have the mad scientist. Oh, now I'm really happy. Mad scientist. Ogre brute. See. The games that we win are entirely off the back of our strong curve, right? We go two, three, four, and they're all fucking strong as shit, right? If my opponent plays nothing this turn, by the way, we're in a really good position. Because then my opponent has to play a two, three to even equal the value that my mad scientist is going to be bringing me. Be a three, two. I hope you like my invention. That's okay as well, I guess. So, I wonder if my opponent's going to use a hero power plus the 1-1 one, one to kill my 2-2. Two, because two. if they do, then they summon my secret. Which means I don't have a chance of accidentally top decking it next turn and ruining my play. Because if I top deck uh, mirror image right now, uh, mirror entity right now, I'm fucked. Because then it won't be summoned. It can only be summoned from my deck, not my hand. I've just got to hope that they have something they want to... Oh, no. Can we go back to the play where they use the shapeshift? Please. This is a really good swipe for my opponent. I totally forgot that uh, since my opponent used wild growth, they're going to immediately move into turn four. Oh, well. Hey, at least I've got an independently strong play next turn. Hey, it works. So, ping Sorceress Apprentice? Seems correct. Or I could mech Yeti and then attack. Sorry, uh, Defender of Argus and then attack. I like that. I mean, how many situations am I going to be certain to have a def uh, two Defender of Argus targets? And if my opponent swipes, they remove two minions from my board, not three. Plus, they summon a card for me. Yeah, this is pretty good. I think if they had swiped, though, they would have played it last turn. Card or mana crystal? That's lovely for me. That's a Bolt of Isoga next turn. Sweet. 
it's fine. Damn it! Well, I guess I just don't kill it this turn then. Missing 50% of the time is not a huge drawback. Um, especially in Arena where tempo and stuff is so incredibly- Tempo and value are so important. It is the tempo value machine. It does it all. Tempo, value, both of the things that I just listed, does everything. Got nine damage in hand. I can put you down to eight. Thought I won't. I'm going to play the zombie chow because I think if my opponent has to focus the zombie chow, the effort that they put into focusing the zombie chow is going to result in them having to lose anyway to the rest of the creatures. Because if they focus the zombie chow to get the health, they're going to have to neglect the rest of them. I mean, zombie chow doesn't die to starfall unless starfall has hero power behind it. Sorry, uh, spell power. So my opponent would have to blood mate Thalmos into starfall. That's very interesting. That goes out before I play this. I believe I still have a Frostbolt and a Blizzard in this deck, so I'll actually keep the Blood Mage Thalmos in hand. Also, I don't desperately need card draw. I've got Archmage plus Ping as a pretty solid, fairly on-curve play next turn. I can see. Well played, Zenonin. Well played. That puts us to five, which officially makes this somewhat respectable. Yes. Hey, at least it's not another zero three, one three, or anything like that. What was it? A uh, bargain bin? Yeah. That should have been a zero three, except uh, one of our opponents was kind enough. Uh, to leave and give us the win. I should track them down and give them thanks. Okay. 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 I'm just making sure that my plans for board games tonight are all A-OK -okay off to the side there. I apologize for splitting my attention. I won't do it again. Water Elemental is so good that when I have four cards, I am going to keep it in my opening hand. So Bloodfen Raptor, Natural 2, Coin, Water Elemental is my three, and then Mech Yeti. That's kind of a little bit of safety against Power Mace and the... Uh, Power Mace and the other card. Anyone want to tell me what that was? Power Mace and Stormforge Axe. There we go. Do you prematurely equip a Stormforged Axe? No. Of course not. Would have liked to have had that last turn. That would have put me in such a good position. Because then I trade, I've got a 3-2, my opponent has nothing. That's such an advantage. Rockbiter? Oh no. Coin, Ladder Elemental. It's my hope that this Water Elemental manages to kill both of those. It could die to one of those in a Lightning Bolt, or one of those in a Rock Biter Weapon, but that's still a two for one, and then I get to summon another Water Elemental next turn. What to do? Exactly, Rondrax. What to do? How are you going to deal with this? Are you ready for this? Spinning up? Oh no. Are you kidding me? These perfect fucking dagger hits. I can't bleed the health, I actually have to kill the Whirling Zapomatic.
Because the only thing my opponent has to do at that point is summon a... Uh, summon a... Um, either Rock Rider Weapon or use a Flame Tongue Totem, and then I suddenly take 10 damage to the face, or 12 damage to the face, and then I'm just in a horrible position. 12 damage to the face, plus 3, plus 3. That puts me damn near lethal. Now I just need to hope that my opponent doesn't get the... Oh my god, they're gonna get three fucking daggers? Yeah, of course, immediately hits correctly. So that was a 50-50, a 50-50, and then a 33, and my opponent hit all of them in a row. So, yeah. Oh, okay. We're gonna do more of that, are we? Right. I can't really respond to this at all. Like, if I don't draw Blizzard immediately, I'm just- I just lose. So I can ping this turn, but if I ping, I'm just gonna lose again, as I said. I'm gonna develop as much stuff as I can. My opponent has a total of 7 damage on the field, I have a total of 14 health. So, <laughs> they could put me out of the game easily this turn. It would be, like, what? Bloodlust would do it immediately. Um, Wind Fury plus... Oh my god, are you kidding me? And got the 50-50 for the 4 on this, which means my opponent only has to trade 1 minion into it, of course. I... I cannot respond to this, actually. Perfect daggers. Like, there's nothing I could have done at any point in this game that would have stopped this, except for draw better. Next turn, my opponent has a total of 8 damage. This is the only thing that stops me from dying directly to attacks to the face. I wonder if my opponent is over there in their seat, raging about the RNG that gave me a uh, taunt totem. Sorry, a taunt uh, spare part. What's their spare part? What to do? Reversing switch. You reverse this, and then you attack in with the Razor Vent Hunter, and then attack to my face for a total of four damage. No. It could have been. Whirling Blade. Hmm. I actually can't kill that. I was hoping I would be able to ping it. I cannot do such a thing. This removes one damage from my opponent's field. That's how desperate I am. One damage. I tried. Hey, hey, you can't say I didn't try, because I did try. It just didn't work out at all. Oh, no, I'm supposed to have like a tighter neckline if I'm gonna do the thing. Do you like to play with fire? Hit the four. No, you were supposed to hit the four on my Stranglethorn Tiger so that you could immediately kill me. Well, no, you'd remove my Stranglethorn Tiger. So that was also a 50-50 for the Taunt Totem, uh, which stops me from being able to attack any of the creatures that are doing damage. I'm not going down without a fucking fight, alright? Fight me IRL, let's meet in the parking lot. Seriously. No, but seriously. I There's nothing I can do, and there has been nothing I could do for a very long time, but I'm not making my opponent, or I'm not letting my opponent win this one without an absolute 
drag out, drop down, fucking fight. What's the matter? You want to fight about? Well, we lose officially right now, but I'm gonna be a smarmy little bitch and kill that. Yeah, take that shit. Bet you didn't know that's how those mechanics work. And we lose. I'm actually not gonna well play that guy. That guy or girl, that person. I am not interested in any of the bullshit they have to say. So what's the name of this deck? I mean... I want to call it Brutal, but I've already called a Dark Souls episode that very recently. I mean, it was strong on the early curve, it's just we didn't have any board flip. We didn't have any board flip. Epic, I like that. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see exactly how useful that is, possibly. Alright, let's get back to the title screen so that I can say that my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Hearthstone Arena, the name of the deck has been Calamity, and I'm going to call it Calamity because it's got like, it's kind of got the word calm in it, right? And the reason it has the word calm in it is because we didn't have the ability to flip the table, and if you're not flipping, this is such a fucking stretch, this is a stretch limo, this is a goddamn longbow of stretches, alright? So, this is the, I'm drawing the longest bow here, right? Um... If, if, if you're playing a game and you're losing very badly and you want to flip the table but you can't, you're just, you're remaining calm, but also, um, the, the performance of the deck in a few situations, and especially the first game, was just an absolute calamity. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like, uh, not just on this one, but on the first video too. There is a link in the description down below. Uh, it does help me get my constant to new people and helps me grow the audience, and then there'll be more people to talk with you in the comments, in, like, uh, in, in with me as well, and it makes me feel really warm and fuzzy inside um there's also playlists in the description below for arena ranked and adventures in hearthstone if any of those are particularly of interest to you you'll be able to find them down there hopefully you've been enjoying yourself we'll see you next time